Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how to use Machine in Ableton Live to sidechain a kick drum in Machine. The compressor that Machine has built in doesn't allow you to sidechain from another audio source. But if you're using a DAW like Ableton Live, you can route the audio out of Machine into your DAW and use the DAW's compressor to get that sidechain effect. This is really handy if you are using Machine in a live environment, whether you are DJing completely in live or using CDJs or Traktor. So here I have a new Ableton Live set open, and on it I have one audio track with Machine loaded. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add two additional audio tracks. So I'm going to go and right click and then click insert audio track. Then I'm just going to highlight that and press Apple D or Control D to duplicate that new track. So now I have three audio channels available. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this one to kick and then I'm going to rename the other one to COMP, short for compressor. Now we need to go ahead and open Machine as a VST. So we're going to go ahead and open the plugin window. Here you can see that I have two groups. So in our first group we have a kick drum and what we're going to do is we are going to change the output of this sound. So we're going to first click on the sound, then we're going to go to out, and then we're going to change the output from group to out to. Then we're going to go ahead and find the sound that we want to sidechain. So we're going to go into group B, and here we have this guitar sound. We're going to once again go to out, and then we're going to change this to out 3. Now in this example, I am using two individual sounds, but of course you could do this with entire groups. So don't feel like you have to output everything to its own individual channel. If you want, you can only change the output of the kick drum, and you can sidechain everything else to that. So now that we have the kick drum routed to its own channel and the sound that we want to compress to another, we're going to go ahead and exit out of the plugin window. And then we're going to change some settings on our second and third channels input and output options. So on our kick channel, we're going to go down here and where it says audio from, we're going to change this to one machine. And then where it says post mixer, we're going to change that to out two. Then on our third channel, we're going to change that from external in. Once again, we'll set it to machine and then from post mixer to audio three. So now we'll be routing the kick drum directly to the second audio channel and the other sound, the one that we want to compress directly into the compressor channel. Because we are routing audio from one track to another, we need to change the monitor settings on our second and third tracks to in. So now let's go ahead and add the actual compressor to channel 3. So we're going to go to our live devices panel, then go to the audio effects folder, and finally add a compressor to our third channel called comp. Now that we have a compressor added, I'm going to first go ahead and turn off makeup gain. Then I'm going to twirl open the sidechain options. So from here I'm going to click the button that says sidechain, that will actually turn sidechaining on. And from audio from, I'm then going to select kick our second audio channel. For this example, I'm going to drop the threshold down to about negative 15. And this will allow us to hear the change in the compression. Now that our compressor is set up, I'm going to play the little medley that we have, and you should hear how the guitar is sidechained to the kick. So let's take a listen again, but this time I'm going to turn off the compressor. All right, I'm going to turn the compressor on again. So that is one workaround for how to get sidechain compression in Native Instruments Machine. If you would like to learn more about Native Instruments Machine or Ableton Live, subscribe at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or visit the for more video tutorials. Thanks for watching.